Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with the Light Bear team. We're gonna go ahead and do our summons. Hopefully we push the campaign to get some more gems. That way we can push a little bit further. So here we get two Light Bears right off the bat with our rare stones. Elite Hero Soul Stone, Baden, not a bad choice. Gonna be good for our faction tower in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into our regular summons, which we do have some scroll summons that we've been picking up through our daily quests and our weekly quests. Looking for a couple different heroes here. Any Lucius would be awesome. Um, if we get a Belinda would always be nice. That way we can try to get her up. This team has, I believe, four. And we did get an elite there who is very nice, Belinda. Uh, she is a super solid DPS. As you know, um, through the entire game, they're one of the first heroes they give you. I believe at five days of playing the game, they give you a free copy of her. But she is super, super strong. So we went ahead and used all of our gems. And we did get a free card there, which, of course, going to Light Bear on this account because it's the Light Bear account. Let's see who we get. And we unlocked Gwen. Very good. After her rework with her signature item on level 20, I hear she is super strong. Um, I almost have her ascended on my main account. I need one more copy. So let's go ahead and get some ascensions here. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff to ascend, including Baden, which is good. So we're going to have to look at the Light Bears, though, and see exactly who we want to ascend, who we want to get up. So it looks like we do have a copy of Hogan there. So quite a few Light Bears here, as you can see. Let me know in the comments who you, do you think I should ascend. I was going to do a little poll about it, but if you're really looking at the Light Bear team, who should I ascend here? Um, should I just wait for some more fodder, which is kind of what I've been doing, but we're going to go ahead and do the push in the Belinda uh, Rosaline combo is super, super strong. If you haven't used it, that that's what I use a little bit in campaign swapping out Rowan for um, Rosaline. So it does a ton of damage. So here's all the light bears that I have. So take a look through the list. Let me know who you think I should focus on ascending. The top five that are legendary are the ones that I've been using. That is my core comp team. So let's start the campaign push. So we were on a stage and unfortunately it didn't record. So we pushed through, we got completed with chapter, I believe that was 11 and we pushed into chapter 12. And this team composition is just absolutely amazing synergy with Lucius being able to shield the team, Estrilda bringing not only a little bit of CC, but a significant amount of damage increase which the big damage increase comes to Thane and Belinda to allow Belinda to do more damage as you can see here we push through the first I believe 12 campaign stages uh, most of these teams are not very strong right now but their level is so if you look at who I'm facing it's usually a mythic mythic plus I believe even getting up into the ascended a little bit later in this chapter but look at the combination of Rosaline and Belinda in the back. She does so much damage with her AoE, almost accounting for all of the kills in almost every campaign match that I found. Uh, two, three, sometimes even five. Because so when you look at the combination right there, she buffs herself and she buffs Rosaline. And then Rosaline kind of buffs her back with the energy and almost burns a target straight to the ground. And even there, like I said, she does she does so much damage and so much burst damage and being able to use her ultimate uh, with her buff twice and then Estrilda buffing them as well. And the reason I really like the Light Bearers is Thane I don't use on any of my accounts. Estrilda I don't use on any of my accounts. The other ones I kind of have here and there, but looking at the strength that the Light Bearers bring, um, I'd like to use the combo that a lot of people use, which is uh, Hendrick. And then also with Gwyneth, but this count not too solid right now with either of those characters. Haven't had much luck with them. And with Lilith giving us a abundant amount of <clears throat> our light bearer heroes. So it's good to see just how far this team. So this team now is the furthest of all the team accounts. And today is light bearer day. That's why I kind of choose it by which faction is up during the time. So tomorrow, I believe, is the Maulers, which I'm super excited to see the Mauler team. After patch 1.29 dropped, uh, they super buffed the Maulers. 
And I believe of the maulers that they increase their abilities, I have four of them on my team. I don't think Brutus got a buff, but I think the other four that I have on my team all received a buff. So you can see here with a lot of the campaigns, Golas is always a problem because he seems to have so many hit points. But when you look here with Belinda on him, she does so much damage to him, he just goes right down, which is nice. He's always been the, the bane when it came to the campaign. A Golas has always been tough and Veden as well. So it seems like if she's doing enough damage to actually take them down, as you see here um, with Veden, she'll take him down, his ultimate ability went off. Usually she will get him down with a nice crit before the ultimate ability goes off. But just like a lot of other heroes, uh, Veden leaves the front line, which as you can see there, she went straight across, killed Isabella. So when he leaves the front line, just like Kasos did, does, uh, Veden does a couple other ones. When she leaves the front line, when they leave the front line, she just has the ability to absolutely destroy the back line, as you can see right there. So it's an interesting combo. And here again with Kasos right there and Golas, they're super strong and difficult to deal with. But the combination of her and Rosaline really makes it easy because not only is she doing a lot of damage to them, is she is, uh, Rosaline is actually um, stunning them with her ability. So if they do get too close, she has her sweeping broom ability, which actually does a knockback because Blinda is in the back row. So really with this team comp, the only thing you have to worry about is the tanks dying in the front. So as long as you can keep up Estrilda and Lucius, which as you can see there with the sweeping ability, um, just making sure that you can keep those two up. And if you do, it's an easy battle. And we have pushed all the way from, wow, we were, we were in the last chapter. This is, I think, 1225. So let's go ahead and continue the push here. We'll see just how far we can make it today. Super impressed. I'm not sure if any team, maybe the Maulers might be able to make a push just because of the huge amount of the buffs they just received. But it'll be interesting to see. And actually, I'm going to be doing their video later today. And a simply an amazing push. As you can see here, we are on 13-4. Didn't want to run through all of the last campaign stages. So we were at 11, I believe, 1136 or 1138. Pushed all the way through the chapter 11, finished that, pushed all the way through chapter 12, completely wiped that out in one sweep, pushed into chapter 13. It looks like this is going to be our first defeat. So pushed all the way to chapter 13-4 from 11-26, I believe. So absolutely just a monster push with the Light Bearer team. So let's go ahead and collect up all of our loot. And there's our completion of chapter 12. We collected our loot when we... Uh, completed chapter 11. So ton of loot. So let's go ahead and do some more summons. We got some more diamonds and I want to focus today because of course it's faction day. So we got some faction scrolls. So let's go ahead and do our diamond summons here. Then we'll do our specific faction summons. Hopefully we pull another elite out of this. I uh, haven't had that much luck this time, but the essence is always good to try to get an elite and hopefully we pull something out of here. Got quite a bit more fodder, which I'm okay with that. Six six rare cards. And there we got 30 more emblems. As soon as somebody hits that mythic level, it is going to be just a ton of emblems. I have a ton of them saved. And we did get another copy of Kaz there. So here we'll get Hogan up. So I don't think we have enough fodder to get anybody up. We might have, I think Hedrick, we might have enough. Maybe not. So let's take a look at who we're going to go ahead and ascend here. Because Rowan I would like to get up, but I don't want to be... I have a whole legendary team right now. So on this one, I think I'm going to wait. Look at the heroes. Let me know what you guys think. Who I should really focus on to ascend. And always, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for all the new viewers. And let me know who I should be ascending here.